creation. No, otherwise you have to wait for it to go to yeah. So this is what you do if you got it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 It's not bad manners. It's just good food. So here's the good. Mm. We always get her with food in her mouth. I know. She's always eating. That's probably better than catching with something else in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> her foot in her mouth. That we get a lot too. So. Oh yeah, you already do get that. Yeah. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. We are going to be cooking today. What are we cooking? We're doing. We're talking we're a Mediterranean pasta dish. Ah. In other words, what we did was uh, we grabbed some leftovers from the refrigerator. We're going to show you how to make leftovers taste better. There are some people out there that hate leftovers. There are some people that love leftovers. Well, it's because the people that hate leftovers don't know what you can do with leftovers. They look in the refrigerator and they see, I had that two nights in a row. Well, see, part of it is, is if you start with leftovers. How many of you like leftover pizza? Mm. Yeah. Some people think the leftover pizza is by far the best pizza, and some of them only like it when it's fresh. It's kind of the same thing with leftovers, but part of it with leftovers is that you have this idea that it's the same food over and over and over. Well, if you take the food, change it up a bit, it's not the same food no. over and over. Remember, the seasoning on the original thing has had a chance to set, mm -hmm. and that really makes a difference. That's why, left, that's why pizza the next day is good, because everything is set. Mm -hmm. That's what makes the total difference. So, today, what we have in here is this is leftover pasta. Yeah, this from, is like macaroni. We have well, there's pasta sauce on here. Just, you know. just, just some homemade stuff. It was just one of those real quick things that we threw together because I was really hungry at the time. And we hadn't been. We, we actually didn't get to the store, so. Yeah. So we just kind of threw it all in together. So what we have in here are cauliflower, <coughs> some peppers, arugula. We were looking for spinach, but... Somebody ate the spinach and left the arugula. Yeah. Well, I always like to... I really feel like it's got a little bit of spice to it. It's especially good yeah. with um, salmon. Yeah, I really here like we're using it to take the place as finish. Mm -hmm. And what we also have on here are a couple sausages. Yeah. So all of these vegetables in here, we actually pre-cut them. We did not wash them because a lot of times people wash them, they wash them individually, which you can still do. <laughs> but we put them all in here. Yeah, because you are going to get the soap all over when you add the water to it, yep. so. And what we have right here, this is my favorite to use, Earth Friendly Product Fruit and Vegetable Wash, which I love to use. Just a couple squirts of spray, as you saw. I'm just going to go ahead and add some water to it. And it is, a, it, one of the things the government actually did to it, which is, you generally don't pay attention to it. You should wash all of this stuff before you use it, because people are getting mm -hmm. things from the, from the prepackaged stuff. Yes, just because it's been washed single, double, triple. Yeah, need to wash. so just because it's packaged does not mean it's clean. Yeah, if I want to be really environmental, what I would do is take this, rinse it off, pour it in the container, and then go water the plants outside. Yeah, we are, we, we, but we're doing the environmental stuff on an, another show coming up following this. Right, right now, for the sake of brevity, yeah. because I don't have the container here. We've got water here, but it's actually already filled for another project. Yeah. It's just because we have to add the water at room temperature. Okay, so we are, we dump this. Okay. And then next. Now we're going to go chop, we're going to go Do we, are cut we up water our, to this? No, no, oh. no, we got our water already over there. Oh, where did that water come from? That's the water from, we rinsed off the container that the spaghetti was, I mean the macaroni was in, and that's got all of the, uh, this, everything was on it. That's going to so be... So that was in here? Yep. So why do we put it in there? Because I need the room for mix the other stuff in at the same time. Ah, That's all going to go together. So here, you're cleaning it, but you're also getting some of the flavors. Yeah, and then we cut up the, our, our sausage first. Oh, 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 oh. That, that also gives us our oily stuff that you need for for Mediterranean stuff. We're yeah, not going to add helps, oil, we're going to add sausage. It helps the flavor. Yep. Yeah. So, no, but see, she's not... This is, she doesn't see most of this stuff. It is all done on the spur of the moment. She was hungry, so we changed our schedule. I'm see, this is what happens too when uh, you're spending, uh, I mean, she's a uh, small, 
cut them in little pieces. She doesn't understand the word small. You exactly. know, I she, can cut them in half from there. Okay, so. <laughs> so because you want it, and then put each each thing in there and throw it around, and then we add the other water to it, and it should. You know, we're not we're not wasting anything. Why? Remember that sauce that was on the inside of that container yeah. that the the stuff was in. There is a. Is that small enough, or do you need to have? Yeah, it? that's all right. Okay. It all gets dumped in there too. We just sort of get it down so it's uh, down, down deeper inside. Oh, the sausage? Yeah. Well, because we want to be able to make certain that we get liquid on it and it doesn't cook. See, not complicated. Because okay. like this is, the uh, sausage will cook in the microwave relatively quick. You know, you 30 seconds, you just zap that thing, so. Okay, here we go. Look now we that. just pour our um, liquid over the top now. Okay. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. Now we just, wow. we just lightly put our lid over the top, which is behind us on the cabinet. There we go. Now this one happens to be a microwave container. Yep, which means you can put it on and open the top of it, which means you can put it solid over the top, which is what we'll do. Yeah, that's why some of you think, why do I need to need a, uh, why do I need a microwave container? I can use something else. That's why. That's why, because generally, otherwise, what we do with some of the things is we put a lid and we just leave it askew a little bit. Mm -hmm. How long? Uh, five minutes on high. Five minutes. Here we go. Okay. Hey, we just happen to be in between, of course, cooking. <laughs> yes, in the microwave. But one of the things that you heard in the background is our sea rocks like, you see that in your local theater? I know, it just happens to be one of those unique things that you can see in 2D or 3D and get a totally different experience. Oh yes, we'll get you dancing in your seats. Oh wait, I guess you'd have to stand up out of your seats if you're dancing. But it has been hitting Europe by storm in the underground. <laughs> and we have Harry Potter tonight. You know, he's, he's wrong, that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> totally wound up. <laughs> this is what we go through when we cook. She knows that she's way behind on eating right now. So you know, if you know her, if she doesn't eat on a regular schedule, she basically gets like this. Well, my schedule's all kind of th this. This week has let, let's just say this week has been all totally thrown off for a number of reasons because of Espies and Harry Potter. Yeah. Thinking, how in the world could that be? Well, because part of it is is. SB's ran very late, and then I had to get up very early to take somebody to the airport. Yeah. And then Harry Potter is going to be really late, too. Yeah, then next week she's got Comic Con. She doesn't yes. have. I'm not at Comic Con, just her, because she's got gifting suites again. She's the queen of gifting suites, so now we go to our cooking with her for mm -hmm. <laughs> eating the root. Okay. Mm. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me, I get a little bit excited about this. Okay. So part of it is, it was in the microwave for about five minutes. Um, we have a spinning turntable and they always tell you that halfway through you should mix it. It is better if you mix it in the microwave. Well, because it doesn't cook all the way through. People don't understand, microwave will not zap everything unless you turn it. Mm. So, this, all the, yes, the sausage is in there too. So now we're just pouring it yep, in here? Pour it in there. We, we, okay, we, we, we basically, we handled the um, the sauce the the sauces that were in the container have basically gone through all the plants so they're no longer useful for us so yes oh yeah we did pour out the liquids because this has no liquid in it okay. this is dry cooked now so the liquid that is in it there will still be liquid in the vegetables and everything and they say well you know, you, the meat, the sausage isn't completely cooked through. Well, yes it is, but it's also going to cook for another five minutes. Oh. See, when you put it in uh, liquid, it cooks it through. It was boiling. We can guarantee it was boiling. Oh. The poor little guy who sat there and dumped it over in the, wa in the 
dumped it out can tell you the water was hot. So mm -hmm. you just got to stir it all together. This is what takes you the time is to mix it up. It does. Yeah. I know if this is all the time it takes, that's pretty good. Yeah, and remember this is still not a tremendously long dish. I mean, 10 minutes maybe, other than prep. Prep time doesn't count in cooking time. What? Oh yeah, because it's different. Time. The cooking time is only 10 minutes. And once again, at halfway through, this will have to be uh, taken out and stirred, so. There's no lid on it this time, though. That was just so that we could uh, dente the vegetables. Yes. She's, as you can tell, she loves that. The nice little seasoned taste that they got from the sausage, so. Oh, I do, I do, I do. You know, I always like to. Yeah, we can give a plug. Those are, that's for Fresh and Easy's um, what is value it? pack, those sausages. Oh, yeah, they make these fabulous grill packs. Yep. And they have them available all the time, but especially during the holidays. Like yeah. every time they think people are going to cook a lot, you know, like Memorial Day, Labor Day, Fourth of July, yeah. Thanksgiving. I think you know, they have a. This is about the last of three grill packs, I think. Yeah, because I got three of them. Yeah. Because on, on the grill packs, yeah, Yeah, you get you get all this food. I think you get like four pounds of meat that's ready to grill. Yeah. That's why they call them. They're, take, they're actually really good. Yeah. We're going to take the seasoned chicken that's left and make something in the microwave with it, too. So. There's no seasoned chicken in here. Oh, it's all got finished now. You've got eight all Oh, no, this is sausage. Oh, no, no it's in, it's in no, there. No, we're going to take the seasoned chicken that's in the freezer and do something else. And now we just put it in the old yes. oven for five minutes. We don't okay. and just put, like, that on the top. Yeah, and then stir it. So Because it's full of holes on the top, folks. So. Here we go. Yep, five minutes on high, stirring in the middle, and it will be ready to eat. Five minutes, here we come. So what five. What people don't realize, our 10-minute cooking shows, 10, 15-minute cooking shows are 20 to a half hour long because of prep time. You don't even get to see all the prep time that we do. There we go. Cool. Really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your wife stirred halfway through. It's halfway through the microwave. This is Mediterranean pasta. This is also a way for you to make leftovers look and taste different. Yep. And because the flavors have been in there, yep, yep. yes, for more time than normal. Because part of it, like the pasta was cooked beforehand with this. Um, spaghetti sauce, and then we added this other stuff. So you're going to have more seasons than you would if you just made it all And there's no right salt now. and pepper in that because the, the, the sausage was already seasoned, as was the uh, pasta. Ooh! Okay. So it's so, just natural. So this we're going to add, this is grated Parmesan on top of cheese because we happen to have it. Here we go. I already know this is good. Yeah, well, she's been munching <laughs> on it as we've been cooking, so. Actually, I haven't had any of this. No, but she's been eating the individual the ingredients before. she's been eating. I had pasta before. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yep. Mm. It's all cooked all the way through. You can burn yourself on that thing. It's so hot. Mm. Just I know. See, it's supposed to set for a couple of minutes. Oh, minute. it was? No, no, but they tell you <laughs> the recommendations from the people at the microwave is said never eat anything right out of the microwave. We always do. We always do. We show it to you. You watch me get scalded. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. then you can remember not to do that again. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're, and then we're, you, get we're, we're, you get to show. We get to show you both sides. You can give your let your children learn a lecture for watching us. <laughs> No, Lex said, I'm not going to tell you what not to do. Look at the foolish adults. Yeah, just just watch the bikinis are. Yeah. And just watch it on his, oh, actually, no, watch it on his spring chicken, all the stupid things that On the does. cooking show, cooking oh. with not a spring chick, because we do all the stupid things that comes out right, so. Well, and kids can do these things, too. They can all do it. This is something the kids can do when they come home from school. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is, this is good. Yeah. Well, bon appetit. Enjoy. <laughs>